Hi Leos, welcome to your November 2018 reading. This is going to be for Leos, Sun, Moon and Rising. Uh, I think some of you Leos are uh, dealing with a Cancer person. Uh, if you are, then kindly check a my a Cancer reading because uh, before I st uh, started doing this video, I was already doing a video for you and I kept saying Cancer, Cancer, and um, although. Uh, Cancer also had this card in their reading which is six of cups uh, you have it with judgment so I feel there uh, that there is someone from the past like a relationship or a person from the past who is coming back who needs your apology or you need to forgive this person uh, it's, up, it's up to you if you want to give this person a chance or not uh, I want to tell you that this relationship that you are uh, having this with this person is a karmic relationship so it's not going to be very easy for you to uh, let go of this person in fact whatever that you feel for this person is also impacting your work so maybe you're not able to focus yourself on your work because of the bonding that you are sharing with this person uh, so you need to forgive this person in some way uh, is the message that i'm getting here so uh, basically the decision is going to be yours do you want to take this person back into your life or do you want this person to uh, leave your life because um, uh, they haven't been uh, like their energy is not conducive to your growth is what I'm getting so try to be uh, balanced and keep your emotions in check uh, be logical and um, be mindful that uh, <sighs> sorry guys my hair went in my mouth <laughs> uh, yeah so no matter uh, uh, how you feel about this person maybe you feel that you love this person or uh, you feel that um, that you cannot be without this person but keep your balance because the balance card is coming up again two of pentacles is again a balance card so either you have to find a way to balance your personal and work life uh, so that it doesn't affect your uh, uh, work life or personal life uh, but uh, ultimately what I'm getting here is that uh, if investing in one phase of your life or one aspect of your life is taking away from the other aspect of your life and it's making it's you know you're suffering in one of the aspect because you're focused on one thing too much uh, then that's not good try to detach yourself in a way that you can uh, work on other things as well so that you are not sabotaging your um, personal life because of your professional life or your po professional life because of your personal engagements so yes find that balance give me a moment guys please <coughs> So what is the message coming up for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising for the month of November 2018? So you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer, maybe a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, some water sign definitely like a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Cancer or a Scorpio and uh, this card is coming up again so six of cups basically i think i have to focus on this card now uh, so maybe the bonding that you are feeling with this person is very intense uh, like you feel that you cannot let go of this person because the emotions are very very strong and the attraction is very strong between you and this person and you feel that uh, there was uh, there there is in an intense bonding which you cannot just let go of easily so you are finding it hard to move away from this person but um, what I'm getting here is that you have to control your emotions even though you feel a lot of turmoil etc you have to master your emotions is what I'm getting here so uh, I'm not saying that don't be emotional or uh, don't feel what you're feeling feel whatever that you have to feel but uh, at the same time be mindful that uh, don't let your emotions um, lead you don't let them uh, take charge so that's the message that is coming up here
So this card is coming up again as the bottom of the deck. So I think I need to focus on this card more for you. So Father of Cups is about someone who is uh, very much uh, emotional, but they have mastered their emotions. They don't let their emotions guide or mislead them or they don't uh, give in to their emotions. They understand, they feel, they uh, sympathize, they, uh, they are considerate. But uh, once they have understood everything and the other, other person's emotion, they still decide that they won't let their emotions uh, miss, you know, uh, make a bad uh, decision. So uh, basically this person is in control of their emotions and uh, that's the uh, overall energy that I'm getting. Maybe this person is around you or this person is your family member who is probably guiding you. So yes. Anyway, uh, your challenge again is coming up as the two of pentacles, which is like I said, the balance. So there is some balance that is that you are not able to find in whatever that you are doing right now. And uh, because of the seven, uh, you have the bottom of the, sorry, uh, the heart of the reading is the five of uh, wands. So you are very scattered uh, when it comes to your energy or you are uh, in a competition with people and they are challenging you. Uh, but uh, at the same time, you are not able to balance two things, something too. It can be two people, it can be workplace and the professional place. You are trying to juggle two things but you are not able to do that and probably you are also deciding to drop one of those things because you you are realizing that you cannot go, you can't keep going on like this. Uh, the root of this reading is uh, two of cups. so. Your desire is that you uh, you are expecting or you uh, what you need is two of cups which is mutual um, mutual uh, feelings, reciprocation of feelings, understanding and um, coming together uh, of two people. So this is true love basically. So the true love is grounding this reading. So maybe you feel that you have found someone and you want to invest your everything with this person or you want to give your everything to this person uh, but still uh, there is something that is uh, not uh, letting you do that nine of cups in the past uh, which is wish fulfillment in the past so there was definitely some wish fulfillment that happened in the past uh, something, uh, some desires uh, came true, uh, and uh, in your mind, uh, you have to uh, daughter of cups. So you want to express your emotions. You want to be vulnerable. You uh, wish to be vulnerable, basically, and um, you want to uh, be led by your emotions. I'm getting that. Um, let's see. And eight of coins and six of cups guys I'm gonna just say what I'm seeing here because it's I think I'm repeating myself over and over again I'm getting that there is something related to work you need to focus on your work you need to focus on your well-being you need to focus on your uh, general day-to-day -day life how like the routine life but your emotions or lack of energy or distraction of energy or uh, scatteredness of energy is not letting that happen uh, that is mainly happening happening because you feel you have uh, found your true love uh, in a karmic relationship here this is a karmic relationship this is true love but they are side by side so I'm getting that um, you are not feeling loved uh, the way you uh, desire to be loved basically that's what I'm getting and uh, let me see and then I'll tell you someone around you is uh, up at night uh, they are restless they are uh, facing a lot of trauma uh, they might be overthinking things and um, okay what I'm getting here is that someone around you needs healing 
they need healing and uh, it can be an aquarius or a scorpio this person needs healing and either you are going to heal this person or um this person needs to heal themselves before you can have a relationship with them so i'm getting that you are very much in your emotions but someone around you needs healing like this person is probably not ready yet to fall in love or to reciprocate what you feel for them uh because this person is uh, not uh, feeling well this person is restless they have a lot of troubles uh, trauma or something that is bothering them that we do not know yet what that is but uh, you are fearing that something that you have built with this person or something that you have generally built uh, is going to come crashing down that's your fear and the outcome is that uh, there needs to be some hope some uh, yes you need to have your hope uh you cannot um like what i'm getting here is that the situation is not hopeless maybe this person is also uh in love with you even they feel the uh connection with you but they are not um in the place right now to reciprocate your feelings uh because they are troubled and they are trying to end something in their life uh, which they have to conclude before they can be with you so they are trying to uh, bring something to a completion and something in their life is uh, wrapping up okay so i pulled out three cards and all of them are, them are major arcanas first this person is uh, ending something and then they will decide if they want to start something new and if the, uh, what they are going to start is going to be with you or with someone else uh by the way leo this can be you as well it doesn't have to be another person it can be you as well because energy is fluid and uh, uh your hopes and fear is that uh, you you are hoping for a relationship or a union with this person you want happiness or in the situation uh doesn't have to be a relationship it can be workplace as well the entire thing that i'm saying right now but um uh you have a fear that something is going to crash or you have a immense desire that you will be happy ultimately but the outcome here is that uh, either you're dealing with a uh, aquarius or a capricorn or there is something very addictive or you are attracted to something which is very addictive or you are um trying to uh maybe you are you are helping someone get out of an addiction is one thing that i am getting here or you are just pulling someone out of a very toxic situation is the feeling that i am having this person could be in your family whoever you are trying to help can be your family member or you want to have a family with this person uh but trust me it's going to be hard and uh, it's not easy this thing will take i think a few months to unfold uh because uh, these all of these are major arcanas they are not something that you can control this is the energy that you have to deal with so i think in the long run if you want to be with this person through the up and down of what like what they are facing or what you are facing uh, still try to keep a balance between your work life and professional life or various aspect of your life is the main message that i am getting here because that is coming up as your challenge or the drawback um your uh, overall energy like i said is father of cups so um, don't get carried away by your emotions uh there is someone or uh, there is a very stuck energy where you are feeling stuck you don't know where to move how to move what action to take but uh there will be some recognition of your work is what i'm feeling here uh so let's see what's i'll pull one card for you this is for leo november leo november message for leo sun moon rising november
destiny and forgiveness so leo uh, when we started doing this reading i already told you that there is something that you need to forgive either you need to forgive this person so when i say forgive that doesn't mean you will forgive this person and then uh, you need to take them back and give them a second chance no if this person is coming back in your life just forgive them and if it's worth it uh, if you feel this person is adding something to your life and you need them in your life then take them back but do uh, pay attention to your self worth uh, are you taking this person back because you feel that you are not good enough or you will not find someone better uh, if th those are the reasons then please do not take this person back only if this person is really 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 worth it then invest in this person forgive their mistakes uh, also i think that uh, destiny card is telling me here that um, like i said things are at play which are not in your uh, control so uh, it will take some time before you can uh, have some balance and some uh, control over the situation destiny is in charge which means that uh, things will unfold and you will have to be very very patient till the time uh, uh, things work out or clear out or um, you can understand what is really happening uh, what i'm also getting here is that um, uh, like don't lose your cool and uh, be very observant is uh, something that i'm getting here um and i'm also getting that you need to talk uh, and communicate really um, well uh, whether it be your desire or whether uh, you are talking about how, how this person has treated you in the past just communicate it really well uh don't leave any space for misunderstanding is what i'm getting here so let's let me pull out a one more oracle card so you have diving for light card number 11 diving for light i think you are uh, basically going to be inspired in a way that okay this is the first card again the uh, after the storm the card is saying after the storm so what i'm getting here is that uh, and the by the way the card number 1 after the storm is 1 and diving for light is 11 so <laughs> this is 1 1 1 right now so um, i mean both these cards have one so what i'm getting here is that you need to take a uh, charge you need to take a uh, leadership uh, role you cannot uh, depend on other people you have to start uh, you know taking charge basically and uh, keep moving forward and you will in fact have to show other people the way uh, diving for light is basically i think right now everything is gloomy and uh, people around you are probably not that supportive or they are not able to guide you so you will have to basically dive for light basically look within or you will be searching for light in darker places or places where you never thought that you will have to look for um, inspiration basically so to be inspired you will have to dive within uh, and be observant about the things around you so that you can find some inspiration uh, and if you cannot do all that then close your eyes and ask universe to guide you and trust me uh in couple of days you will get your answers uh look for uh, like pay attention to signs and symbols definitely uh, that's the message that i'm getting a leo i hope it resonated and in case it did do drop me a comment uh, i'll truly appreciate it